Okay, let me tell you guys a story about how I got into golf, one of those things. So, I, no one in my family golfs, literally zero people in my family golf to the point that my grandmother, I learned that I golf and was actively scared for my safety. That's how little experience, well I guess that is the type of experience my family has had in golf courses and so we I guess generally racially just don't do them and I was like the first ever I guess not ever but you know and so yeah so when you know everyone in your family doesn't do something and you're the only one who does it no one really knows what to tell you and no one really knows how to help you other than to just kind of let you do your thing. So my mom, she took me to the store. She got me a box set, I think from like a secondhand play it again sports store. And then I just started accumulating clubs my whole life. But something in golf is like no one tells you that you're doing something wrong because they assume you know you're choosing it. Just gotta stop turning so early. But so I I entered tournaments. I did a league for years, and I had this box set of clubs. You know, seven or eight clubs. Then a persimmon, two iron, uh, a three wood persimmon. You know, some a four iron and all this stuff and all these clubs that I really didn't need as someone who was like playing off a 50 handicap at the time. Oh my god, they're just getting worse. But, but either way, you know, I liked playing with them. I enjoy my two iron a lot, even now to this day. I like my two iron. Uh, and one day, I met my coach. His name is Mark Smith. He's a great dude. And he took every club on my bag. I had just gotten some new Golden Bear irons, put them in. Was super excited. And he took them out and said every one of my clubs belonged on someone's mantle. And that was like the first time anyone told me anything was wrong with the way that I was golfing or anything was wrong with uh, what I was using. Everyone else just insisted that it was just, I mean, didn't insist, but no one really corrected me. And I suspect a lot of people thought I was just broke. And I'm not broke. I just don't know what I don't know. And, yeah. So it's essentially, and then, so I played for like four or five years, four years or so before I met my coach. Well, no, probably five, maybe even six. I played for the majority of my time golfing prior to meeting this coach. And I played with Persimmon, I played on a high school team. And,. So there have been, and you know, it was one of those things where I was having fun, I was doing decent, people just kind of let me do my thing, and eventually, when I met my coach, he actually told me some stuff, when he actually told me some stuff, I was like, oh, shit, so I'm not supposed to do these things? I was like, nah. And, you know, I got better at golf because he gave me lessons. And I kind of, like, half assume, half believe that, yes, I've been golfing for around ten years, but really, realistically, it's only, like, six or seven. Because, well, actually, it's more like four. Because I did not get a proper lesson until my junior year of high school.
Just fading these. Not, not so fades. Damn. But yeah.